In this video, I am going to show you how to divide polynomials. We are not going to be dealing with monomials. So we are going to be dividing a polynomial bigger than two terms divided by another polynomial by two terms. Bigger than two terms, I should say. Right. First, we're going to start off with long division. This is the acronym that I use when I divide polynomials using long division. Again, this might have to be the same steps when we used long division back in primary or elementary school. Divide, multiply, subtract, check, and bring down. All right, I kind of modified it into does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers. Hopefully that remembers you to divide, multiply, subtract, check. And in this case, we are checking if the inside degree is less than the degree of the outside polynomial. If uh, no is the answer to that question, then we are going to repeat this same process here, right? But if our checking results that the inside degree is less than the outside degree, that means we are no longer going to repeat this and we are going to bring down if necessary and that will be our ending to dividing using long division. Let's get started with the first example. Example 1, we are asked to divide 7b raised to the third plus 51b squared minus 35b minus 11. That four-term four -term polynomial divided by the binomial of 7b plus 2. Right, to do that, right, long division. The first goes inside the division, this second part goes outside. 7b plus 2. That is divided by 7b to the third plus 51b squared minus 35b minus 11. All right, so does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? Divide, multiply, subtract, check, and bring down, All right? All this, for the most part, it's gonna do, uh, be some side work that needs to be done. Divide, I'm going to divide the first term of the inside by the first term in the outside. Seven divided by seven is one. B to the third divided by B is B squared. This is my dividing step. Before I move on to multiply this B squared, I'm gonna place it right here. Hopefully this makes it easier for the next step of multiply. Multiply the top with everything outside. This is my top. Everything outside is 7b plus 2. 7b plus 2. This result is 7b to the third plus 2b squared. This is the multiplication result. This is going to be placed right here. Next step, we're going to subtract these two binomials. Seven minus seven is zero. This cancels to zero. Fifty-one minus two, that makes forty-nine. Our b squares remain the same. Again, we are checking: is this degree less than this degree? The answer is no, so we are going to repeat the steps again. But before I repeat, I need to bring down my next term. My next term is minus 35b. Again, divide. So instead of using 7, I'm using my next biggest term, which is 49b to the second. Divide that by 7b. 
that result is 7b. Is this positive or negative? <coughs> it is positive, so this b is going to go right on top of this b right here, plus 7b. That's my divide. Multiply the 7b with 7b plus 2. Seven times seven is forty-nine. B times B is B squared. Seven times two is fourteen. And B with some times B to the second, or B with no variable when multiply is just B. So now this comes down here. Again, I am going to subtract. This is what I like telling a lot of my students. Before you actually do these things, right, uh, the most uh, step that goes wrong is the step afterwards here. What I like telling them is, for the second one, just change the sign of every single term. Right, so this is a negative, it becomes a positive. And I circle them because that is the most updated sign. This is a, ne a positive, it becomes a negative 49, plus 14, positive 14, this becomes negative right make it makes it easier for us to do the math 49 minus 49 is 0 negative 35 and negative 14 that is a 49 B that is negative is this degree now we're to a checking is this degree less than this degree it is not it is equal to because it's not less than I'm going to repeat yet another time but before I repeat I need to bring down my next term which is this minus 11 so now divide again negative 49 B divided by 7 B that is just negative 7 this comes up here This is my outside. So this result is negative 49b minus 14. All right, some other strategy that I like to tell students, right? Once you have this, when you place it down here, flip the sign already. And this is what happens. A negative 49 becomes a positive 49. A negative 14 becomes a positive 14. Negative 49 plus 49 cancels out. Negative 11 plus positive 14 is positive 3. Now to our checking. The degree to this is 0. The degree to this is 1. Is the degree 0 smaller than the degree of 1? Yes, it is. So that means I am no longer going to repeat. Last thing I'm going to do is bring down if I have anything else. I do not have anything else. So this here is now my remainder. So because I was asked to divide, the answer to this is b squared plus 7b minus 7 plus our remainder, 3 over 7b plus 2. Even though this work is not very difficult, but it's a lot of work, there is a shortcut to this called synthetic substitution or synthetic division. All right, and I'm going to show you how to use that here. Caution though, this will only work, synthetic division will only work and get you the final results right off the bat if this is 1 and the degree is also 1. If that's not the case, like example here, this was not 1, but this was 1. Both have to be, right? That way we get a straight answer. All right. So in order to do this, right, again, this is still going to be inside the division. This is going to be outside. But this is called synthetic. We're not going to be dealing with the variables, but we need to make sure they're in descending order. The degree is in descending order. 
here's to the third, to the second, to the first, and no and no um, variable or n to the zero power. All right, this is our constant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write their coefficients, the numbers in front, right? So that's one, positive ten, positive eleven, and negative thirteen. Here, what I'm going to do, I am going to take the opposite and put it out here. The opposite of positive 2 is negative 2. Right? When I do the opposite of this, that is me pretty much the subtraction portion of it. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a 0 right here. Inside numbers are going to combine or add. 1 plus 0 is 1. The numbers down here are going to multiply with this out here, and it's going to go to the next diagonal. So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Inside numbers are going to combine. 10 plus negative 2 is 8. Outside numbers, 8 and negative 2, this is the number you're always using to multiply, is negative 16. 11 combined with negative 16 is negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. Negative 13 and a positive 10 combined and making negative 3. There is no other over here, all right? So this last one, this is our remainder for the result of this division. This negative 5 is my constant. Then it's to the first power. And then this one is to the second power. Because I'm dividing by to the first power, our result is going to lose one degree. That's the reason why I began with third. Now the result is going to begin to the second. So this result here is n squared plus 8n minus 5 plus negative 3 over n plus 2. Or you can also rewrite it as this here. Either of these two is the correct final answer. They are both equivalent. Our last example, I am asking for you to verify that if x minus 4 is a factor. All right, so we are going to still use division. All right. And, but this is asking us if to verify that x minus 4 is a factor. When we use a division to determine if x minus 4 is a factor, all we need to do is look at the remainder. If the remainder is 0, then yes, x minus 4 is a factor of 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 150. If the remainder is not 0, any number, then x minus 4 is not a factor of our numerator. All right, let's get started with the easy steps, right, the easy work. This is 1 and this is 1, so I am able to use synthetic division. All right, so what I'm going to do is rewrite this up here. Make sure that everything is in descending order. 3x cubed, x squared, x to the first is not here, and then this is our constant. So when I rewrite this, I need to make sure that I don't forget my x to the first. All right, so one way to kind of think about it is doing this. x to the third, x squared, x, and this is my constant. Let's move this a little bit closer here. All right? 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 0x minus 150. This is negative 4, and now it becomes a positive 4. Start with the 0. 3 plus 0 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. Negative 2 plus 12 is 10. 10 times 4 is 40. 0 plus 40 is 40. 40 times 4 is 160. Negative 150 plus 160 is positive 10. I have nothing else to do this, right? So here's my remainder. Here is 
our constant x to the first and x squared. Again, is x minus 4 a factor? Is the remainder 0? No, it is not 0, it is 10. So we can answer x minus 4 is not a factor of 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 150.